Hey everyone, it's Naki Aya. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to discuss how psychedelics helped me deal with my shadow and repressed anger and how I was able to work through that whole situation. So before I begin, I want to give a little brief overview about what the shadow is and how it works. So basically, the shadow is a term that I believe was coined by a psychologist named Carl Jung. And basically, the shadow is different parts of yourself that you have rejected or denied because it was not allowed or permitted to be expressed in whatever environment that you grew up in, your society, your family, your culture. So it can be like a wide variety of things. It can be maybe you weren't allowed to express your creativity, maybe humor wasn't allowed, or maybe um, just different aspects of yourself that you learned that when you show these parts of yourself, you are punished or you don't receive the type of response that was positive or desired. So for me, mine was anger. Anger was something that I was always shunned or disciplined for having. Um, I was never really taught how to work through anger. It was something that we kind of brushed under the rug and pretended it like it didn't exist. And so it became part of my shadow, a part of me that I was unconscious of a part of me that I kind of pushed into the dark, not wanting to acknowledge its existence and not wanting to even, um, definitely not wanting to express it. So yes, I want to get into the story of how ayahuasca helped me, first of all, even acknowledge that that was in my shadow and how I was able to work through it and, that, and what that process was like for me. So there was a period of time, I believe I was just kind of going through some life changes and I realized that I was starting to experience a lot of internal anger. I was having thoughts of like injustice and resentment running through my head. And I was at a loss at how to handle it because anger is not something that I'm comfortable with experiencing or feeling. And so it was a very strange situation for me, but I just almost felt like the anger was like oozing out of my pores. I was mad at everyone and everything. Um, I was having a lot of road rage. Uh, just things that I was not used to. And I had to figure out what was going on, where was this coming from, and how was I going to get through this? So in the midst of this time period, as I'm going about my life, I receive an invitation to do an ayahuasca ceremony. And I think to myself that this might be a good idea to kind of explore or figure out what's going on and how to, how to work through this. So fast forward to the actual ceremony, um, I'm sitting in the middle, it's, this is the middle of the ceremony. I'm sitting in the room in the, the pitch black dark and I'm just so in my head. I'm thinking about this and worrying about that. Almost like this neurosis where I'm just stuck, just kind of like going in loops and circles in my head. And all of a sudden, um, some of the facilitators start to play like some very heavy, deep bass drums. And this is something that they do throughout the ceremony. They play different instruments to bring forth different energies. For example, in the beginning of the ceremony, they play the flute just to kind of get the medicine working through your system and flowing through your body. And at this particular point in time, they were playing the bass drums and it was like this deep, deep, heavy, heavy noise. And automatically I began to feel, feel all of these dark negative energies coming forth to the surface. It was just like bubbling up to the surface and it felt like it was just consuming me and it felt so uncomfortable. I could not take it. Like it was just, I could not breathe. The, the room was closing in on me. I was starting to sweat. I felt really hot and I just had to get out of the room and just leave. So I'm standing out in the hallway outside of the ceremony room. There's people that are trying to like encourage me, like the trip sitters are trying to encourage me to go back in there. And I'm like, no, I cannot, I, I don't wanna go back in there. And so I'm sitting out there for a little while and I have kind of some space and some time to reflect on what was happening. And I realize I need to stop running from whatever this is, I need to stop running. It's the same thing that I was experiencing in my day-to-day -day life. But this was just more intense, more intensified, like times 100. And so I was like, I need to go in there and I need to face this. 
And so I go back into the ceremony room, I sit for a little while and I finally purge. So if you're not familiar with ayahuasca, what you do during the ceremony is it's very common for you to purge or to vomit during the ceremony. It's just part of the process. And they say it's, you know, it's supposed to be you dispelling certain energies and um, just kind of releasing certain things that have been like, you know, stuck inside of you for a while. So I finally purged like in the middle of that intense moment. And I actually felt a lot better after that. I felt very light. Um, I was able to actually enjoy the rest of the ceremony. I felt like a little bit of joy and happiness coming forth. And, you know, I was just in a better space after that. But um, after the ceremony, things did not just automatically get better for me. I was still um, in a bad place. I was having a lot of hopelessness and I was worrying a lot and just felt heavy. And I thought back to the ceremony when I was trying to run from the emotions and realized that I needed to confront it head on and figure out what was going on. And I sat with myself and I realized that I was really angry about some of the things that had happened in my life, some of the ways that people treated me, um, some of the things that I even allowed to happen. And I was really sad actually. And it was really painful for me to acknowledge that. And I realized like the anger was actually just a placeholder for pain. And it was kind of trying to protect me from that pain. And so I got really honest with myself about what I was feeling and what I needed to do to move out of the space. And I realized that, you know, there was a situation with a particular person in my life that had not gone well for years. And I never fully really expressed my true feelings or how I felt about things, or I never gave myself the space to really acknowledge and validate what I went through. And I actually took the time to confront this person and express all of the things to them that I never said. And it was messy at first because it was so just out of my normal my normal range of what I was used to. It was so far outside of what I was comfortable with that actually doing this was painful and it was really messy. And that's why it's important to not suppress or repress your feelings and emotions because then you lose the ability to navigate them in a healthy, balanced way. And I finally just had to let all of that stuff come up that I had been holding down and tell that person. And it didn't go well at first, but it did open the door for conversations and it did get the energy moving and the ball rolling in a different direction. And today, like all these, this was maybe a couple of years ago. Um, and that's the thing with psychedelics, the integration process can sometimes take years. You know, you can still have new revelations years later about your trip. But fast forward to today, that person and I are in a much better situation and I actually don't have any anger towards them. Sometimes, you know, little things come up, but for the most part, I don't have the anger because it was a relationship that is ongoing and I have to continue to work with and deal with this person, whether I like it or not. And so I, you know, decided that it was in my best terms for me to express how I felt and the situation, you know, we were able to kind of come to terms with certain things and work certain things out. And the situation works a lot better for me now. So what I really realized, and I say this in all of my videos about psychedelics, it's about breaking up certain patterns because we really do get stuck in certain patterns and loops and cir circuits and networks of ways that we react to life and deal with things. And it can be psychedelics are a good way to interrupt that pattern because our coping mechanisms are really just ways to protect ourselves from the from the, the the hurt and the anger and the pain. But sometimes we need to go deeper into those things instead of trying to avoid it. And so sitting still with yourself and really exploring why were you triggered? Why do you feel this way? And giving yourself space to feel it instead of pushing it down and saying, no, I shouldn't feel that way or I shouldn't feel anger because you know you repressed it a long time ago, put it in your shadow because the adults around you as a child told you that it wasn't okay or it wasn't appropriate. Give yourself the space to feel everything that you feel and dive deeper into it. 
and start to find resolution and healing around those things. It can be a life changer and it's really important for us to do shadow work. And shadow work can be scary. It can be destabilizing sometimes. It can sometimes make us feel out of sorts and it can make things worse for a period of time. But sometimes it's necessary for us to get into the messy work in order to be able to find that resolution and that resolve, to find peace and to be able to integrate those parts so that we can become more of a whole person. So yes, that's my story about how I was able to release some of my shadow content. Of course, there's always going to be stuff in our shadow for us to work through, but that was really a pivotal point in my life and that I hope that it was helpful. So if you have any comments, please share them down below. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.